Liberty Lutheran is creating communities and changing lives by faithfully providing vital resources for individuals and families facing life-changing situations from the earliest stages of life through the many stages of aging. The Liberty Family of Services extends its hand in support to people of all ages throughout Pennsylvania. Liberty Disaster Response Eastern Pennsylvania, a ministry of Lutheran Congregational Services, works with communities, congregations, and individuals to assist people who have been devastated by disaster through the rebuilding of homes, supporting community-based long-term recovery efforts, and offering emotional and spiritual support to those who have lost so much. Lutheran Disaster Response is built around the idea that um, someone needs to be present with families and individuals who have been impacted by a disaster for the long haul. Lutheran Disaster Response is a place to go so that we can all be tuned in to what the needs are so that our service can be focused and helpful in the best way possible. We need to figure out who's been through disasters, what their needs are, and so to get to that piece where we really come in as Lutheran Disaster Response, we need to do a lot of work as soon as a disaster happens. Who do you know? What do you know about people who are vulnerable in your congregation and in your community, not just your members? How well is your facility prepared to shelter people if they need shelter, if they need to stay? We look at their spiritual needs, their physical, emotional. Um. Um, we were able to work with our county governments, with FEMA, with AmeriCorps, with American Baptists, with Methodists, and really put those pieces together so we could get training for cleaning out homes, removing mud and debris from homes, find volunteers to be trained for them, and then actually find out where these homes were and pair up volunteers with homes that needed to be cleaned out. We were able to build our network beyond the boundaries that we separate ourselves with on a normal everyday basis. LDR in Eastern Pennsylvania deploys volunteers to places beyond our region. Places like the Mississippi Gulf Coast, like Cedar Rapids, Iowa, like Joplin, Missouri, like Rhode Island, like New York State, all following flooding or other major natural disasters like tornadoes. It's natural for us when we see the disaster on television to want to help. And so Lutheran Disaster Response helps congregations band together and do what no one congregation can do alone. We worked with a family that we were able to help put back into a home after um, several floods and, and they had just used up their resources. It was a tremendous experience to be able to work with them through that time period. Um, we ended up totally rebuilding their home and uh, they were so appreciative uh, of the work that we did and the personal relationships that were developed during that time. Many times we've been down to the Gulf Coast uh, responding to the needs of people with Katrina. I remember uh, working with a commercial fisherman down there who'd lost his home, uh, hearing his story and about the blessings he'd received from God in the part of volunteers. And it was also a great, great opportunity to uh, serve someone with you know a group of uh, the people of God and just to help them in their needs and you know to see that they were uh, so impacted. Um, just meeting people, trying to help out the, with the problems they had, helping them uh, power wash, clean their homes and then in one critical instance rebuilding a house. They're the first people that I call back home here to use for response regionally in southeast Pennsylvania when something happens. Lutheran Social Service Minnesota has designed a program called Camp Noah, which endeavors and does a very good job at meeting the emotional and spiritual needs of children. Children react to disasters in ways that are different from adults. They process things differently, but Camp Noah helps them to process things themselves. You, you tend to get really involved with the kids during the week, and um, at the end you want some kind of uh, memorable, memorable item to take home. Uh, memories are great, but something to show off is even better. Um, so the last day of uh, the camp before the, before the kids all go home, um, we take our shirts and we uh, go around to everybody and everybody signs each other's shirts. In our culture today, there isn't enough money really to have extensive folks paid to do this kind of work. 
Lutheran Disaster Response receives donations from individuals, communities, and congregations. We receive our funds gratefully from many of the congregations and communities in our service area. It's just to the point that we need your financial support. It is, again, a ministry that doesn't happen unless we develop the partnerships necessary to make it happen, not only when disaster occurs, but in between those times so that we can be prepared for those times of emergency. The funds we receive help to provide supplies for our building crews. It's helpful for them to be able to purchase on site exactly what's needed to do a rebuild or to do the work that's necessary for a homeowner. I've seen it impact lives in many different ways. Uh, I was a member of a community that was impacted by an F3 tornado and I saw people in that community pull together in ways and, and really come to know each other in some uh, wonderful ways that, you know, even in a small town, we don't. Over the years, as we've worked with different families and in different places, I've seen congregations become excited about ministry, um, developing mission teams that they send off to um, communities, that uh, have sent off to communities down in the uh, Gulf Coast. Uh, summer after summer, um, building relationships with congregations and families down there that they continue to carry with them back here. Um, a whole ministry is developing over time. Uh, Lutheran Disaster Response gives hope. Hope to the people who need help in a very specific and horrible moment of their lives. It also gives the people who serve a chance to hope in the difference they can make in this world. There's real need out there. There's real suffering. With a hammer and with a screwdriver, with words of comfort, we're able to share a little bit of God's love and a little bit of the hope and joy that Christ intends for us.